We'll call Wednesday, Tuesday light here. We're going to have rain, but it won't be as heavy. And it's going to be damp and gloomy, but it's not going to be that kind of washout that we had on Tuesday across the area. Let's take a look at our rainfall coverage right now, show you what's going on over the next couple of days. Pretty much we're talking about rain today. Yes, it's going to be fairly widespread. And as we go into the nighttime hours, it does decrease over time. And by Thursday during the day, maybe a shower early, but that would be it. And then we're dry as we go into the rest of our week here. Here's a look at our future cast. This is 6 a.m. on Wednesday. Showers and storms working in from the east and from the north. Typically that happens when you have a coastal storm nearby and that we do here. That will continue into the afternoon hours, but it does start to dry out as we get closer to sunset. And as we go into our Wednesday night, I'd say by about midnight, those rain showers are out of here. And we'll even see a little bit of sunshine as we kick off our Thursday. Low risk for a shower. I think more than likely we're going to wind up dry as any rain does stay away from us to the west. Here's a look at our rainfall totals by the time all is said and done with this rain. Uh, this is a more well-behaved rainstorm, unlike that five-plus inches of rain we saw in Woodbine on our uh, Tuesday here. Some areas, yes, could see an inch if you get under a heavy downpour, and that's where you'd see that roadway flooding, but I believe that's going to be few and far between. What could be more concerning is the wind that blows and the coastal flooding that comes with that. Winds will be at a pretty good clip from the northeast as we go into our Wednesday. These are sustained winds, the winds that consistently blow. And as we go to 2 p.m. on Wednesday, sustained winds of 23 in Atlantic City, 22 in Barnegat Light, getting into the evening hours, winds still staying elevated, and now continue into our Thursday as well. Now, when you combine that with the full moon on Saturday, you get coastal flooding. We'll be talking about coastal flooding for this evening mainly between 5 to 8 p.m. here. And as we go into Thursday, that's from about 5 to 9 p.m. And that does include the Delaware Bay as well here. Notice that right over Cape May and Atlantic counties, that means the potential for moderate stage coastal flooding. So what happens in the kind of coastal flooding we see today? Minor stage coastal flooding. Well, this is Seaside Park getting into Midway Beach. You see Bayview Avenue. Pretty much everywhere has water there at that point when you're in minor flood stage even gets a little bit closer uh, to Central Avenue when you get further south as that island expands, a little closer to Midway Beach. So here's a look at our numbers here for your Wednesday morning. Temperatures rising from around 70 into the low 70s, but very slowly with that cloud covering the east winds. We're only going to bump up maybe 5 or 7 degrees today. 76 in the HT, 73 in Jackson, 74 over in Philadelphia. Your Jersey shortcast, not the best. It's almost like Planet Earth new Labor Day happened and then said, ah, you know, we're going to damp and dreary now. Good news is we're going to get out of that damp and dreary as we go into Thursday and Friday here across the area. Wednesday night, a shower or two, mainly along the coast, mainly before midnight here. Low temperatures, pretty seasonable. And then how about some brighter and warmer times? And that will come this weekend here. This is our pattern about a mile high. We have a ridge of higher pressure over New England that is going to bring us fairly warm air as we go into our first weekend of local summer September. And might I add, our first home Rutgers football game on Saturday. Temperatures on Friday, 81 degrees, sunny sky. Saturday, 83 degrees, great tailgating weather. Great weather to be at the beach as well. Sunday, Patriots Day, September 11th. Very nice for any services there too. We go into the Shore 7 day. You know, we have our Shore Summer Weekend Weather Report card. We'll have that final, final summer GPA out for you this weekend. But I'll tell you what, this weekend looks to be an A here as we go into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For the latest in South Jersey weather, you can follow me on social or come back to our website, pressfacy.com slash weather.